Hey, welcome back to Blavity News. I'm Sarah Lyons. I'm David Brandon. And in case you missed it, Friday night there was a military coup in Turkey that left hundreds dead. Now this was the military's attempt to try and gain complete control in the country. Thankfully it failed, but you know, it's left the country really and trying to figure out how this happened, who's behind it, and they've actually detained almost 9,000 officers, bureaucrats, and suspected plotters. And how do you detain 9,000 people? Right. Where do you put them? You know what, they basically, they removed them from duty, they okay. fired them, just trying to keep the corrupt people away from their jobs, take them out of power. So, you know what, we're here for Turkey, they're our US ally in our fight against ISIS, so our hearts go out to them, anything we can do to help, we are here. Things aren't so great over here either. On Sunday, Baton Rouge police got a call about a man walking along a highway with an assault rifle. When they got to the scene, they heard gunfire, which resulted in three officers being killed. Mm. The suspect, 29-year-old black man Gavin Long, who was also shot and killed at the scene. Gavin was a former Marine who also lived in Iraq. He was very active on social media before and after the Alton Sterling murder, saying that we have to fight back. Now, I understand and I agree that, yes, we have to fight back. Right, However, not in this way. Mm -hmm. I'm just hoping that this senseless war will end soon. But speaking of senseless, did you see that CNN interview with Don Lemon and Sheriff <laughs> David Clark of Wisconsin? Yes, I did. Who apparently has been living under a rock through Many all of this because he says that blacks are not treated differently by the police. And in fact, it's police officers that are looking out for black lives and we're supporting them. And I just, you know, did I mention that David Clark is black? He's I very mean. black and he's very wrong, and he's living under many rocks. He doesn't <laughs> understand what's going on in- In the world. In the world right now. No. I just, I'm just so confused. But kudos to Don Lemon for sticking up for us. Yeah, right? that was a first. <laughs> Thank you, Don Lemon, maybe? I don't know. Hopefully you'll continue to support us. Yes. I haven't seen this kind of behavior out of Don Lemon ever. Speaking of Don's, the stark differences on policy between Donald Trump and his new running mate, mm. Indiana Governor Mike Pence, were on full display for their first joint interview broadcast broadcast on CBS Sunday night. I think it's a good thing. He speaks from his heart. And, uh, well, I, I, I speak from my heart and my brain, just so we understand. <laughs> Most people speak from them. <laughs> right. This is maybe more important. Just the hot mess. Okay, yeah. Dude, no surprise that Donald Trump, that he dominated the interview, he just loves hearing himself speak, but you know, Pence didn't really say much besides calling Trump a good man, saying he's one of the best negotiators in the world. Like, do you have vast knowledge of other negotiators to compare him to? No. Um, and also he embodies American strength. You know what, just congratulations to Trump for finding a man that should be his puppet for the rest of the election season. Just. Be his cheerleader, yeah. say whatever he wants. Pull those strings. I mean, I wish I could have an Indiana Governor Mike Pence in my pocket to tell me great things about myself every single day. Nice. Where can I get an Indiana Governor Mike Pence to put in my pocket? <laughs> can you get me one? But that is all for now. I'm Sarah Lyon. I'm David Brandon. And be sure to check out Blavity.com for more news. Like, share, comment, because remember, knowledge is power. And share your power.